today's video is an update on Chong, my serval's ear. So we're just gonna stick our fingers in right now. And we're gonna start moving the dirt around. And yep, right here. He wanted to say hi. What is it? Mr. Ali, hello, Mr. Ali, man. The servals are the second fastest cat in the world, which is absolutely insane. Left ear is nice and pointed like Cheech's. But if you look at his right ear, you can see that it's folded over. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel guys. We got my lemurs, they're, they're screaming. Welcome back to my channel guys. For those of you that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now who you heard right now is my crazy lemur kids, Rue and Rufus. And I'm gonna show you guys Rue and Rufus. Rue and Rufus are starting to go through their breeding cycle. So they're a little bit hyped up. They're a little bit fired up. You can see them right here. They're absolutely adorable. For those of you that don't know about lemurs, lemurs are a critically endangered species only found on the island of Madagascar. There's over a hundred different species of lemurs. We keep one of them here, which is the black and white rough lemur. And it's important that we do have these animals and we have these assurance colonies because the wild is disappearing on a daily basis. Their habitat's being destroyed. Destroyed, they're being poached so that's why we have some of these crazy critters here but that is not what today's video is about if you guys saw the title and thumbnail you will know for today's video that today's video is an update on Chong my servals ear if you guys remember this video from a few weeks back we had to do a little operation on Chong's ear after it had a hematoma it filled with fluid we had to sedate him we had to cut it open we had to stitch him up so guys, everyone's been asking for an update on his ear. How's he doing? Is his ear gonna make it? We're gonna be going to check out my serval boys in just a little bit. I'm also gonna give you guys an update on China since everyone has been asking about her. But first, we've actually gotta head over to my reptile room. I got some new Amazon tree boas given to me. They're really mean. They're actually a little bit crazy. So we're gonna go feed them and then we're gonna go dig up some red foot tortoise eggs. So we have all four of our beautiful Amazon tree boas. Now these snakes would get about six to seven feet long. They start out really small, but these guys are not the nicest. They actually all want to strike you. Every single one of these little snakes is not so nice. So that's why we're going to be feeding them here today. But if I had to pick my favorite, it's going to be this guy right here. This beautiful light colored one is absolutely gorgeous. You've got these almost fire orange colors with yellow and black. This guy is my absolute favorite. But what I want you guys to do right now is comment down below which one do you guys like better? Do you like the lighter ones or do you like the darker ones? I definitely prefer the lighter ones, but even the darker ones are so cool. So right now we're going to get ready to feed them. So all these snakes are getting fed once a week and they're actually getting fed these tiny little pinky mice. So I think we're going to start right over here on this end with these little guys right here. So we're just going to pick up our pinky mice just like this. So right now our little boa is smelling our mice and we're going to bring it all the way down to him just like this. We're going to bring it right in front of him just like that. And look at that. He just latched on and we're just gonna let go. So we got one of our tree boas latched on to a mice and he's just gonna sit there and he's immediately starting to kind of unhinge his jaws and almost right away start actually crunching and munching down. So cool to watch these amazing snakes. And now we are on to our next Amazon tree boa. We're gonna do the same thing right here. One, two, oh, look at that. That was so cool. It's honestly really fun having these smaller arboreal tree snakes that are so adamant about eating their food. And it's honestly fun having mean little snakes because you constantly got to dodge them. So right now we're going to feed our last Amazon tree boa. We got our little Halloween phase and three, two, one. He just absolutely nailed it. So now that all of our snakes have ate their food, we've got to get all the lids on and then we're going to go head over and dig up some red foot eggs. So now that I got to show all of you our brand new Amazon tree boas, it's time to head over to our red foot tortoises. I saw one of our red foot tortoises nesting the other day right over here by these logs so we haven't dug those eggs up yet i don't even know if there's any eggs in there but there's only one way to find out so we're gonna try to come in here dig up some eggs but also try to find some baby tortoises so right over here is where i actually saw the tortoise nesting so i'm not sure if there is going to be some eggs in here but we're going to definitely have to dig around now it might have been like right here we have one of our big females just kind of hanging out right here in the hole hi there pretty girl so i don't remember exactly where it was but basically I think it was right over here. If you come into this pocket right here, you can see there's like this little tunnel that the tortoises like to hang out in. And I'm feeling, yep, this is it. I feel this like loose pocket. We're just gonna stick our fingers in right now. And we're gonna start moving the dirt around. And yep, right here, look at that baby. We got some red foot tortoise eggs. Now it's really hard to see it, but as, oop, there's another one. There's a whole bunch of these eggs here. So you can see, we're just gonna move the dirt with our fingers and try to get these eggs out as gently as possible because we don't want to drop the eggs. And we also don't want to crack them. So I'm almost got it out. One, two, three. Look at that. We've got our first beautiful red foot tortoise egg right here. I absolutely love breeding these guys and producing them. 
So if you guys have been wanting a baby red foot tortoises, well, we've got some on the website right now. And this right here could be the mom. We got our first egg in right now, and we just got our second egg out of there. Look at that. We got the beautiful red foot egg. We got it covered in dirt, but the dirt is okay. It's not going to affect it at all. We definitely have three more eggs, but guys, let me know down below. How many are we going to pull out? Look at this. We got another one right here coming on out. And then I think, yep, there's another one right here. Let's get it. Let's move it just like that. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This never gets old. It's like Christmas every single day here when we get to come out and dig up these beautiful eggs. And we've got our last egg of the day. We had a successful mission inside of the Redfoot tortoise habitat. Now, we did not find any baby Redfoots, but we did find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 Redfoot eggs. This is absolutely amazing. We're hoping all of them are gonna be fertile, that they're gonna hatch out. Now that we collected these eggs, I'm gonna head in. I'm gonna put these in the incubator and then we're gonna go check out China. All right, guys, we got our eggs in the incubator, and as you can see, I am in here with my sweet China. Everyone has been asking, what is up with China? Where the heck has China been? Well, I just haven't shown China. China's here, China's doing great, and China is one of the nicest servals you will ever meet in your life. You could see she's so kind and so sweet, but she's just like a cat, so you could touch her when she doesn't want to be touched. She'll jump out of your lap, but China's doing great. China is looking at Cheech and Chong, so we got Cheech and Chong right over there. And we got Mr. Chichosa right here in her double door entry. And you can see she is a nice, kind serval. And she's not too big. She's maybe about 25 pounds or so, 23 pounds. You want to look at the camera and say hi? I think she's a little camera shy. But for everyone that's been concerned about China, asking how she's doing, well, guys, thank you so much for all your messages and your support because China is doing great. She's happy, healthy, and honestly, the sweetest serval you've ever met. And now that you guys got an update on my beautiful serval girl, China, it is time to head over to Cheech and Chong. Everyone's been wondering how Chong's ear is doing, so let's head over and let's check it out. Cheech, Chong. So we got Mr. Cheeto Man right here. We just remulched our exhibit, and there's Chong. So let's head in and let's go check him out. So I'm getting ready to head in with Cheech and Chong, and I looked right over here, and here is Ollie boy, Ollie was waiting up high. He wanted to say hi. What is it? Mr. Ollie, hello, Mr. Ollie man. How are you doing? So Ollie is hissing right now. Ollie is one of the sweetest and nicest of leopards. But he is a very vocal boy right now. What are you saying? Hello, hi, yes, yes, so nice. Ollie man is just a little bit grumpy this morning, so we're gonna let Ollie be. We're gonna let him hang out, and now we're gonna head in with Cheech and Chong. You guys have been wondering about Chong's ear. How's it doing? Well, guys, you're gonna get that update right now. So our protocol for feeding our cats is we're just gonna slide a bowl in, we're gonna close our door, and we're gonna lock it up, and then we're actually gonna be shifting Chong into the lockout. So when we do these cat feedings, Chong is always the cat that goes into the lockout first. So we're just gonna wait, 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 and we're just gonna shift the bowl and close it, and just like that, Chong is coming, he's eating his food, and these thermal boys, they can honestly be quite food aggressive. It's actually really crazy to see how they can be when it comes to some food, just simple food. Yes, it is very good, very delicious. Chong is crunching and munching on his food, and we're giving him his food right now so he can be nice and calm so he can examine his ear. These servals can be just a little bit food crazy, so we're gonna feed Cheech, and then we're gonna check out Chong. Guys, as you can see, we have definitely got some hungry servo kids. They want their food, so we're just gonna head in right now with Mr. Cheeto Boy. Come here, Mr. Cheeto Man. Wait, 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 come sit and wait for your food. Wait, 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 come sit down. Come down, come, 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 and there you go. So it is can be a little bit crazy to get these guys to actually eat their food and get it up here because they're so food aggressive. You can see Cheech is crunching on his food and he's just gonna kinda just inhale it because in the wild, these cats never know when their last meal is. Now the servals are the second fastest cat in the world, second to the cheetahs. The cheetahs are the first and you're gonna find the cheetahs and the servals in the same areas. And to me, servals are basically mini cheetahs. They look similar, they're from the same area, but the servals are much smaller. These servals boys are only about 35 pounds. And if you guys look at his ears right now, you can see that his ears have these eye spots. The eye spots are gonna act as a natural deterrent for predators in the wild. When the servals are hunting, it's gonna look like there's eyes on the back and the front of him. So that's gonna prevent predators from sneaking up because they think that there's an animal looking right at him. And now even though these serval boys are eating, we've hand fed them for most of their life. We've spent almost every meal with them. And that's why we're able to pet them and interact with them while they're eating. Well, normally if you try to pet one of these guys while they're eating, well, they might attack you. And now we're heading in with Mr. Chong Man. So we're just gonna close our shift door. It looks like Chong Man, I think Mr. Chong Boy 
has probably almost entirely finished his food. So he's just gonna lick the bowl. Every morsel of vitamin that's on there, every morsel of meat, he's gonna lick away. But you guys have been concerned about Chong's ear. Well, let me tell you about Chong's ear right now. If you guys look at Mr. Chong, you can see that his left ear is nice and pointed like Cheech's. But if you look at his right ear, you can see that it's folded over. This is the ear that had the hematoma, the ear that we had to have the operation on. Now we have good news and bad news. The good news is Chong's ear is going to be fine. He's not going to lose it. But the bad news is, it's not really bad news, but his ear is gonna pretty much always have that cauliflower flop. They call it cauliflower because the ear kind of bends over, it shrivels up. But that is a normal part of having a hematoma on the ear and having it repaired. It's kind of like a 50-50 of whether they'll have cauliflower ear or not. But luckily, this does not affect Chong in any way whatsoever. Besides having just a slightly floppy folded ear, we still have one little dissolvable stitch that we wanna take out. We gotta take it out when Chong lets us take it out because Chong, he could be a little bit crazy. He could be a little bit antsy, but as you can see, it's certainly gonna take some time getting used to Chong's ear like this, but the only thing that I care about is Chong is happy, healthy, and he's gonna be just all right. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's update on Chong's ear. I'm so thankful and glad that Chong is going to be all right. His ear is healing well. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all of your concern about Chong and about the rest of my animals. You guys are just as concerned with all of them as I am. So I just wanna say thank you guys. And this is gonna be the last video that I'm posting before Christmas. So I wanna wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, and a Happy New Year. So guys, thank you so much for another incredible year. We've had a lot of growth here on the farm in the past year. We've done some incredible things and none of it would be possible without your guys' support. So again, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of videos do you want to see here in the new year. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me and you want to see the rest of my animal family, well, guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.